guys welcome to my channel empath oasis i hope you all are doing well for today's video we're going to be doing it on the topic of what do your ex and ex friends currently feel towards you i think the moon is in cancer right now so the past has a heavy influence on the collective at the moment but don't worry, this video is timeless. So whenever you come across it, hopefully you feel drawn to it because there are messages here for you. You can always book something personal with me through my website. But let's get into these options that you guys have for today's reading. We have these three objects. I'll show them to you up close because I know this one's a little bit hard to see. Uh, but group one, you guys will be the frog. Group two, you guys are the snake. There's a little bit of gold in there. And group three, you guys will be the seahorse. But if you need more time, you can always pause the video. Timestamps will be available in the caption. Hey, group one, if you picked the green frog, welcome to your reading. I want to first take a look at um, the overall vibe of this connection. We know these are exes and ex-friends, so they most likely, actually that's the wrong deck, they most likely aren't in your life right now. <laughs> um, shoot. But let's see the reason why they became an ex or an ex-friend so you guys can identify that you picked the right reading. So we got the Knight of Cups reversed. There could have been issues here around emotional manipulation. There could have been issues here with stealing or copying creative ideas. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. So I do feel like whoever this person was to you, when they were in your life, they did bring a significant amount of misfortune. There's a lot of uncertainty when dealing with this person. Uh, they could have been so emotionally manipulative um or just a liar that like you kind of never knew what was in store for you what was ahead for you when it came to this person there's an element here of things being unpredictable or just not knowing where things are headed you did feel like there was a lot of potential here this person may have presented really really well they may have connected to you through your goals or your ambitions or they may have even connected to you in like a superficial way. There may have been some like element of love bombing when you met this person. And I'm feeling like you guys did go through a period of uh, this person treating you like you were just so precious, so special to them. And then you went through a period of them devaluing you. Um, this person could have been the type of person who was um, perpetually a victim to a lot of the drama that they would start. Five of Cups reverse. So I do feel like a lot of you feel like this person gave you scars that you're having a hard time even to this day healing. Even if this was something from a distant past, there's a lot of remorse and regret for possibly not recognizing certain things about this person uh, when you first started engaging with them. Remorse or regret for like letting certain things slide while you guys were dealing with this person. This person may have even involved other people in a negative way at some point. There could have been situations where they turned people against you. They may have put something, like made something that was private that you were dealing with. They made it a public thing. I feel like they put you in this position of feeling like you had to really like defend yourself. There's this energy here feeling like you guys had to fight or defend yourself against this person. King of Wands reverse. So this person definitely, this is the type of person who will inspire chaotic, dangerous, reckless type of situations. They'll, they would trick people into scenarios that they didn't realize how much they were really actually going to be taking on whether they were a friend or an ex i feel like this is the type of person who gets you in situations that become very um overwhelming or hard to handle and then they kind of just run from responsibility they leave that work on others this is someone who's unreliable who shifts blame 
um, who is creating like havoc or messes wherever they go. This can represent someone who displays a lot of arrogance or impatience or someone who's very prone to taking unnecessary risks. This could be someone that you perceived as being very overbearing. The King of Wands reverse is someone who really struggles with their power or their position of authority. So some of you could have been dealing with someone who's in some form of a position of authority, or they could be a business owner. They could be in a position that grants them a lot of access, a lot of privilege and, and power. And this person's energy is coming through as someone who abuses that power. If this person is in a leadership position, they may have this distorted perception of themselves as possessing the qualities of the King of Wands upright. This represents someone who like in their mind, they think that they're a fair leader. They think that they're a gracious leader. They think that they're positive, but in reality, they're actually the opposite. And what that can look like, issues around having an unintegrated ego, um, having a really big ego, someone who's very stubborn or a lot of their goals when it, when it comes to their actions is about dominance. This is someone who struggles with being very self-centered. They struggle with being humble. This is someone who's in constant need of admiration. But other things that are coming through are this person could have issues with like mismanagement. I'm hearing bulldoze. So they might have been the type that, you know, they rarely let anything get in their way when it came to them getting what they wanted, no matter who it harmed in the process is like the vibe I'm picking up on with this energy. This is someone who is not loyal to anybody and they're, honestly not even that loyal to themselves there's energy here of this person betraying themselves and self-sabotaging um due to issues with like having a lack of boundaries and i really feel like this relationship greatly impacted your self-esteem and confidence like moving forward uh, because of the type of emotional manipulation and emotional abuse that you went through with this person so if that doesn't sound accurate so far this is probably not your reading i'm going to look at the signs now though for this person's sun moon rising venus or mars these can also be your signs as well so just take it how it resonates so saturn that is aquarius or capricorn jupiter which is sagittarius fifth house that's Leo, Mercury, which is Virgo or Gemini, and Scorpio. Okay, so let's now look at um, their current feelings towards you guys. They're feeling very rejected or they felt rejected ever since, you know, whatever went down between the two of you. There's this, there's a part of these people I pulled sweet talk where they are contemplating trying to come back into your life um, or trying to reconnect with you through means of like sweet talking you. Again, we're getting this vibe of emotional manipulations, getting readings. So some of these people may be getting readings about you guys. They could be getting readings, trying to figure out what to do in the situation about you. Um, if you post readings, you know, if you're a reader, they could be watching your readings as well. I have losing sleep, worried, replaying events, thinking about you. So yeah, a lot of these people, I feel like no matter how much time has passed in your situation, they still lose sleep over what happened between the two of you guys, or at least they are right now you're viewing this video. So moving on letting go loving you free so i feel like they feel as though you guys are in this energy i feel like they are in this losing sleep energy and then they're looking at you like you're moving on you're letting go you're free you're loving yourself um some of these people may be losing sleep over their connection with you because maybe you guys broke up because they had like a workplace affair or there was some kind of cheating that took place and they're losing sleep over that or feeling bad about that. Some of these people may be um, feeling like you guys are in a relationship now with someone who you work with um, or they're wondering if that's happening, that's taking place right now. There could have been 
um, moments in the past where they felt insecure about someone that you worked with and now that you guys are no longer in each other's lives now that you're free of this connection they're wondering if what's coming what's happening in regards to this relationship how is that developing now how are they feeling psycho so um crazy ex obsessed won't let go so yeah i feel like these people because they haven't been able to let go and move on from this relationship i feel like they're they're feeling crazy they feel like the crazy ex or they feel really obsessed with you um they feel psycho because they're not letting go but they feel like you guys have moved on backstab so there could be a small amount of you where the storyline i'm giving you right now is actually in the reverse okay but i don't feel like that is a majority of you here for a lot of you here i feel like with this card backstabbed i feel like this is why you guys aren't friends with this person or you're no longer in a relationship with this ex because they backstabbed you they may have like i said cheated on you they're very deceptive with you they were playing mind games games or i had said love bombing earlier and we get confirmation of that with this card as well there is something just not authentic about who they were with you and i feel like this is making them feel again crazy it's making them feel bad they're losing sleep over the pain they caused you how they stabbed you in the back and they feel like you guys have entered into like your power they just look at you as someone who's secure confident who's a boss who's career focused right now bumping heads so there's a lot of energy here around the fact that you two are not getting along i feel like they are spending a lot of time thinking about that that still heavily dominates their energy whether or not there has been a significant amount of time that has passed and i feel like you know with this card karmic lesson this is a part of the reason why this energy is still so heavily on this person there was a very karmic reason for your relationship this person had to learn a karmic lesson and i feel like until they are able to fully absorb the lessons that this relationship was trying to help them understand they're gonna keep holding on to their regrets their remorse the feelings of loss until they're able to take accountability around how they contributed to where things are currently between you and them okay group one i do hope that this resonates with you and it was helpful please make sure to give my video a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i really do appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching i'm now gonna move on to group two bye Hey group two, if you chose this snake, the clear snake, welcome to your reading for how are your ex and ex friends currently feeling towards you. Let's take a look at what happened in your relationship first, just to identify that you guys picked an accurate pile. So what happened in this relationship? Ace of Cups. nine of swords queen of wands reversed the devil reversed this feels like a connection where this person expressed a lot of love for you a lot of care they made you feel how do i say this so it's giving me the vibes of a situation of someone having so much to say emotionally or how they feel emotionally about you they can be so expressive so open um but i feel like they left you in this energy of nine of swords and queen of wands reversed because it's like they would say one thing but their actions showed you something completely different like they could have been sitting here acting like they have all this love for you but they treated you like someone that they hated they treated you like someone that they didn't want to be around or you know some of you were dealing with someone who had intense issues with jealousy or envy towards you and i feel like they did a lot of cruel and selfish things fueled by this jealousy or envy or insecurity I do feel like, you know, you guys separating from this person was you recognizing, you know, as much as you love this person, because I do feel like this can represent how much love you felt towards them too. They put you in a position to where they forced you to choose either the love you had for them or the love you have for yourself. And I feel like a lot of you, you knew by staying connected to this person, you were feeding into those low vibrational energies that you might have struggled with yourself there's something that this person energetically at one point probably did match you but i feel like the way that, the way that they expressed it was a lot different it was just 
they would project more they would do more harmful and cruel and hurtful things to people i feel like you guys would kind of just be in this energy of like whatever fears or insecurities or issues you had you kind of dealt with them on your own or you just kept it to yourself um i feel like a lot of you guys this is kind of like the card of like suffering in silence i do feel like with the devil card appearing in reverse there was this moment where i feel like you guys really did a lot of healing and you found the strength within yourself to start doing better for yourself to start calling in better for yourself and that could include separating from things that would keep you in that lower vibrational energy and i feel like this person was like one of those influences that kept you in this lower vibrational state like there was just a lot of drama and chaos when you were in their life or when you would connect to them okay let's see what else is coming through yeah the lovers reverse this energy just did not align with you anymore maybe at one point it did because we do have that ace of cups maybe at one point you guys did relate to this person's lower vibrational energy it was something that you were able to connect with but i feel like you kind of got caught up in this person's storm yeah seven of swords reverse those are feelings of like kind of being trapped or you know there could have been like a situation where you this person was exposed for who they really were their intentions there was some type of like realization around their character and integrity and even after you called them out they just went deeper into character they just denied anything and everything you were trying to show them seven of swords reverse kind of reminds me of those types of people who like have to always be the good the good guy you know, they always have to be, even when they are doing things that do trigger a valid response for them. It's like this person is so unwilling to acknowledge or accept the fact that they have a shadow. This gives me the type of vibes of someone who's always like positive energy only or are only love and light, but then they're like evil. <laughs> they're like really selfish towards the people in their life. Let me see what else is coming through. Yeah, look, I said that love and light and I pulled the sun. So I feel like it's important for this person to always come off looking like the sun, looking like sunshine, looking like they can do no wrong, they're innocent. We got that child on there. They could be very immature too. It feels like someone who doesn't even acknowledge shadow work. They kind of feel like the type of person who's always like, oh, just be happy. Don't, don't focus on any of the negative or bad things. Just be happy all the time. This reminds me of someone who's like an escapist. They might have like substance abuse issues as well there's definitely like a lot of blocks around their healing it doesn't feel like this person actually ever heals they're just looking for new experiences new fun new things to drown out all of the mental turmoil that they actually feel on a spiritual level now this person's always looking for the next opportunity there's definitely a lot of avoidant and runner energy here so if that doesn't resonate with you so far this is probably not your reading I want to take a look now at the signs though so we can get more confirmation sun moon rising venus or mars for you or this person gemini seventh house libra <laughs> aquarius venus so that's libra again and taurus here cancer leo and virgo I don't know. I was called to pull more signs with this one. Let's now take a look at how they're feeling. I would not be surprised if their emotions are just disconnected from what happened here, but we'll see. Actually, you know, I'm going to do this reading a little bit different. I'll show you the cards. I'm going to clarify them. So turning back, turning your back, turning back, turning your back, twin flames, drinking, toxic lifestyle, blocked. running and shady i'm going to clarify each one of these though each one of these emotions so turning back clarify that how the person's feeling towards them so with turning your back and being clarified by the five of swords reverse so i feel like a lot of these people are presently in this energy of wanting to make amends five of swords reverse is like trying to salvage a friendship or trying to come out of that ego energy and not be so selfish 
it feels like you guys got to a point to where it's like a little too little too late like you they're realizing this now after you are you've already turned your back on them some of these people are in the process of getting to that point they could still be in this energy of kind of running from like their own shady behavior like i said before they're not really addressing their shadow aspects they could be on some level trying to energetically block this connection um by indulging in like a very toxic lifestyle right now or some of these people could feel blocked right now like you're running from them and in order for them to kind of cope with the loss they're in this energy of it being in a toxic lifestyle drinking a lot possibly if you do know that this person does party and drinks a lot um the timeline is very different for everybody but it's all headed towards the same place because there is a indication here with the twin flames card whether or not this is like a twin flames dynamic that this is a very spiritual connection and this is a connection that's going to force them to no longer be able to successfully like engage in this running energy anymore i feel like they probably were the runner now you guys are the runner it feels like and if that's not the case some of these people are like in this running energy right now they're running from how this has impacted them they're trying to turn their back on this let me get more details on the hierophant reversed so there's this energy here or dynamic happening or they're having feelings around like you guys are supposed to be in each other's lives you guys are supposed to be connected and this doesn't feel natural to them or it doesn't feel like it's right that you guys are not connected this doesn't feel like this is how things are supposed to be and i think that's why they're struggling so hard and they're trying to numb out or escape uh their feelings it feels like the separation is causing them to feel emotions that i feel like are unusual for them that they normally wouldn't feel in the past i feel with other people separating or having the relationship end they just you know escape run away keep doing what they're doing not really think too much about it but for whatever reason whatever happened here the separation is causing them to feel a significant amount of misfortune because i feel like on a spiritual level these people feel like you guys not being together one is probably more so partially their fault uh, they might have done something to sabotage this connection and two like knowing that and knowing that not having you around and your life doesn't feel right without you is causing this group to struggle so much right now emotionally let's see clarifying drinking talk. clarify the drinking toxic lifestyle emo uh emotion card i pulled the page of pentacles six of cups and the knight of knight of wands reverse so this is someone who is like recognizing how special something is reflecting on past wanting to return but maybe not having that option or they don't take action because they may feel too insecure these people may also feel like you guys might hate them or this person could still be heavily caught up in this lifestyle where they aren't having to be reliable or committed to anything or anyone there's that reckless energy still coming through but it feels like this energy isn't going to be here much longer there's like this there's this desire for change so with the two of swords reverse clarifying blocked i do feel like a lot of you have this person blocked or they could feel blocked by spirit in general some of these people i'm hearing if you do have them blocked they send you messages and they're like waiting for that that green box to turn back blue is what i'm hearing there's like this this energy here for those situations where you block this person i feel like they have been periodically checking um to see if they are still blocked two of swords reverse that can be block communication and it can also be this person being in some form of mental turmoil because of that being at war with themselves because of that because of them feeling blocked by the universe or blocked by you um some of these people they're not blocked by you but they feel blocked by the universe because they've noticed so much misfortune has now happened in their life since your relationship um 
there could be that recognition here with why they're indulging so much in a toxic lifestyle is because it's getting hard for them to not see the mistakes they made in the past with you okay let's do let's clarify running real fast okay running okay so running i got five of wands reverse so this is like they how they feel towards you is they feel like you're not putting any energy or effort into them into this connection you're focused on your goals you're focused on your new beginning you're focused on possibly a career or your career advances it feels like they feel as though you're focused more on yourself and your own self-fulfillment okay so shady i pulled 10 of swords actually it's everything is fine so this is this person thinking about all their shady behavior with you but i do feel like this person's shadow aspects are they're not able to run from them really anymore lately or when you are viewing this video um and the fact that this card is like everything is fine is letting me know this is like their demeanor like they're trying to act like everything is fine but at the same time in the shadows out at night when they're laying down they're on their phone they're obsessing over you they're stalking you they're watching your social media they could be uh watching you from like a hidden account a secret account um or they're just having extreme mental torment or going through mental turmoil or some form of mental torture uh, when it comes to what happened here between you and this person. So there is this energy here of um, kind of still playing a role or being in a role or pretending that things aren't as bad as they actually are um, while they're suffering um, in silence or while they're not around people yeah but that's all i'm saying for you guys in group two let me know if this resonates with you if it does please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and it does help my channel thank you guys so much for watching i'm now going to move on to group three bye hey group three if you chose the seahorse welcome to your reading so let's take a look at what happen in your relationship with this person so you guys can identify you picked an accurate pile group three four your ex and or ex friends what happened eight of pentacles strength the empress okay so this doesn't feel like you guys separated from this person on bad terms it feels like there's still actually a significant amount of love here that you two have for each other or you have for this person i feel like kind of what happened was possibly someone's career took them in a different direction it became a dominant force in their life that may have like caused a separation here between you and this person I feel like you or this person experienced a significant amount of success and that's like part of the reason why you guys aren't connected now or you're not consistent energies in each other's lives or someone became a mother or a parent. It just feels like life kind of brought um, or took you two in different directions more so. If there was something bad that did take place here or something that was painful, it feels like so much time has passed or you're in a much different space in your life now that your energy towards this person is indifferent. Yeah. Oh. Two of Cups reverse. Can you clarify that? Two of Cups reverse. The Magician. Yeah. So it feels like, you know, a separation happened here. Um, but it was something that happened as a result to you or this person kind of stepping into their power or calling in, attracting the life that they want for themselves. Um, that's more aligned with their spiritual calling or their purpose. Yeah. The temperance and the eight of wands. So it just feels like life got busy. Life got hectic. Someone may travel a lot for their career. Or these cards can represent things just became so overwhelming. Separation happened so that you guys could heal signs for you or this person sun moon rising venus or mars the 10th house which is capricorn taurus leo seventh house libra neptune which is pisces i pulled north node so your north node or this person's north node can be in one of these signs sagittarius and pisces again i'm gonna stop there so these are the dominant energies let's take a look now uh, what they're currently feeling towards you guys what are they currently feeling towards 
Clip three. Police station? I don't know. Maybe one of y'all are a police officer or someone that you're with is a police officer. Pull some more cards so it's a little confusing. Cope. Seems interesting. Okay, pregnancy. Rejected. Love spell. Getting an interesting story here. What it feels like is... So some of you, this person could be looking at your relationship in a positive light, even if the experience was not a positive one because their life can be in a much worse position than it was when you were around or they could be in a really bad relationship right now. Something way worse than the relationship they had with you. Um, I'm hearing domestic violence. That's why the police station card may have popped up. Or they could be struggling with feelings of being rejected by you. Maybe some of you chose your career over this person or you chose a different path away from this connection. Um, I'm also hearing scenarios here with this person. Like if you're pregnant, they might feel some kind of way towards that. Maybe you guys had a kid in the past or you were pregnant by this person in the past. Maybe you decided not to um, go down that path with them. And now that they're seeing you in this energy of experiencing that, there could be some animosity here towards that or, or frustration or they're having a hard time coping with that reality. Some of these people may be struggling also with the fact um, over them possibly getting pregnant or having a child with someone that they don't feel they are as compatible with as they were with you. Some of these people feel like they're you know, time has passed or you guys have separated, but they feel like they haven't really moved on from this is what I'm feeling. Like, so but some of these people did not deal with your separation or loss that well. Some of these people are still holding on to the love that they had for you in the past. Um, yeah, you guys have them in their feelings lately or right now during the time of this reading. Okay, backstabbed. So... Maybe they feel like backstabbed by you choosing a different path. Uh, let's clarify police station though. Okay, four of wands reversed. So how this person from the past is feeling. This can be about them or you being in a very unstable relationship right now that may involve domestic violence. Just take it how it resonates. If that's not you, then that could be them right now. But regardless of those details, the instability that you or this person are currently going through, this is causing them to reflect over how things weren't as bad when they were with you or when they were in your life. If this is a platonic situation, they could be in a situation where things got very out of hand or really dramatic with someone else, maybe in a way worse way than it did with you when you guys fell out. And there could be some reflection on that. And for some of you, regardless of how toxic your situation actually was with this person, because this new situation they're in is much worse or because they feel like your current situation is much worse, it's almost making them romanticize you or look at you uh, in the side of you not being that bad. If not that, if that doesn't relate to you, some of these people just feel like after you guys separated, their life really went downhill. They're just really in and out of trouble. And they're, some of these people are having or struggling with addictions or just struggling to cope with their life. Maybe when you were in their life, that felt like some of the happiest moments of their life. That's when they last can recall feeling joy. These troubles they're going through, they may have nothing to do with you. And there could be reminiscing on the past and how much better things were for them when they had you around and how much worse their life has gotten without you being around. So these people are having a hard time coping, not only with possibly your pregnancy, but just the advances that are happening in your life. Maybe you guys with the chariot, this is like someone who's very ambitious. So I do feel like that those cards we picked up earlier with you guys focusing on your goals, your self-love, your ambitions, this is your energy. And it, for whatever reason, this is making them struggle emotionally, seeing how ambitious you are, how relentless you are, how determined you are. Maybe the partnerships that you have right now 
are a lot better or maybe even more beneficial. Okay, pregnancy, these two cards came out. It's two of wands and nine of pentacles reversed. So something about a pregnancy, if you're pregnant right now, this is just solidifying to them that you've really moved on. These people may have been holding out for having like a chance again with you one day, but you announcing your pregnancy or something around pregnancy is making them feel like really lonely. Or they could be upset because maybe at one point they did hope they would have kids with you. So some of you, this person may have had plans to like actually move towards you. Um, they may have had plans to move on from someone they are currently connected to, but that person might have announced or revealed to them that they're actually pregnant. So it's like those plans, they feel like it's probably going to be unlikely for things to go the way they want them to between the two of you because now they have to start planning for a new future or a different direction that their life is now heading than what they anticipated for. And if this has nothing to do with pregnancy, it just feels like something happened, something that they weren't prepared for, something they were not ready for, ruined their plans when it came to trying to reconnect with you. It could be something that happened in their life or something that happened happened in your life maybe something you announced maybe you recently didn't announce a pregnancy but possibly a relationship you're in see rejected i pulled death for rejected so some of you i'm hearing that your rejection of them they're looking at this as a pivotal point in their life when a great transformation took place this can also represent the end of them rejecting admitting that they were in fact a part of the problem or a huge part of the problem to why this relationship failed. The high priestess reverse is like creating a lot of spiritual and emotional turmoil for them. Love spell, let's clarify the love spell. Okay, 10 of pentacles reverse. So 10 pentacles upright is like something that has come to a completion, right? Cause tens are completion. But we're getting this repeated message of not being able to move on or not having closure. This can also feel like someone who feels like they lost their family. Maybe they look at you like family or they used to or they mishandled blessings. Maybe you guys had a family together at one point. Maybe you are divorced from this person. But whatever it was, they're not able to move on from. Look at another 10. 10 of cups reversed. There's emphasis here on a loss of family. A loss on goals or future or happiness you know things not panning out the way that you hoped um goals and dreams go unfulfilled this has a hold on them is what i'm hearing these disappointments or lack of like opportunity or having another being able to have another chance let's do feelings Okay, so for fillings, I clarified that with Eight of Swords reversed, King of Cups reversed, and uh, King of Pentacles reversed. So this person may feel like, you know, at one point they were the King of Cups in your life, and you guys may now be with the King of Pentacles. You could have been with a water sign, but you're now with an earth sign, or you could have been with someone in the past who is someone who was very emotionally manipulative, like we had said earlier, very abusive but now you're with someone who's represented by the king of pentacles which is someone who is stable who is confident secure accountable and responsible they could view your person as possessing some of these traits or they can view your person as being someone who's very successful and that's why there's all this remorse or regret or sadness um, about that that's why they're in their feelings with the eight of swords reverse it's like almost as if they are looking at you guys are feeling like you guys freed yourself from a situation that was limiting or that would have trapped you um and i feel like they're looking at that situation as themselves or the situation they were in with you and it brings them so much emotional instability or frustration or possibly even depression because they feel like you know looking back reflecting over the past it's almost as if they're looking at you like you made the right choice because of how their life ended up and how yours ended up they feel like you are essentially you know you chose yourself and you're winning because of that or you've won because of that or depending on your situation these people may look at their life and feel like it's filled with drama and look at your life 
and from the outside it may look like it's very stable and you know there's a lot of reflection on that especially if there was a lot of drama or turbulence in your connection with them let's do backstab okay interesting so backstab was clarified by seven of cups reversed and seven of swords reversed so i don't feel like they think you guys backstab them i feel like they almost backstabbed themselves <laughs> like they may not have realized what you were offering or the opportunity you were able to give them if they were to accept accountability or show up for the relationship the way they should have in the past and i feel like it is in a sense looking back at things now they're looking at things like they played themselves some of these people may have been deceptive in some way but some of you this person may have backstabbed you it just feels like this person is like really struggling with um possible issues around cheating in the past or um how they weren't being authentic with you maybe they love bombed you or they're manipulative in some way or they played mind games with you in the past maybe these people may have been the ones to say i'm getting a scenario and won't apply to everyone but maybe these people were the ones to say like oh i gotta focus on myself right now i can't be in a commitment i gotta like choose myself and you know focus on my healing or my growth or whatever but i'm hearing some of these people that wasn't really the truth it was just like a cop out or it was an excuse so that they can get back into doing like unhealthy things so that they can get back into a lifestyle where they're not responsible for anything or anyone um for some of these people, it does feel like this might have backfired on them if they lied to you about why they were disconnecting. And it's like once they did that, they had no boundaries, they had no structure, they didn't have someone on their in their corner trying to, you know, that's in their best benefit, their partner or friend even, some of you. Once they separated from you, it was almost as like you guys were a balancing energy into this person's life. And once you left, things became very chaotic, dramatic or there's just excessive partying, just something very self-destructive happened once you guys separated from this person. And I feel like there is acknowledgement of that because what's that saying about the devil being like the, a great deceiver or the devil works through people um, through deception or lies? The person was asking like, well, how will you know? And it's like by the fruits they bear. So I feel like that's kind of the energy here. You know, this person is looking at the fruits that they've bared with their life. And it's not a lot of things that they're happy about or proud of for some of you, not all of you. And they're looking at how your life has turned out or how maybe grounded or stable or accomplished you are. And it's it's really doing a number on them and giving them a significant amount of a, amount of clarity when it came to like who was the actual problem potentially in the past. But not all of you are in, are in negative situations like that. Some of these people just feel like they cheated themselves out of a happier future by not giving to this relationship more than what they did in the past. They allowed other things to pull their attention away or to distract them. Or they poured into things that ended up not giving them the fulfillment they thought it was going to give them. And now they're looking back at you like a missed opportunity. Um, so yeah, take it how that resonates with you. So something about you has shocked them. So I think maybe that pregnancy, some of you, or maybe that you're, oh shit, okay. Maybe that you're married, that you're getting married. Whatever development has happened in your life, it's making this person feel like they're investing in things that are kind of meaningless at the end of the day. I pull, this card is fake busy. So I feel like this person is like reflecting on your accomplishments and like looking at themselves and being like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, and another thing in here, I didn't even notice this because this picture is like someone doing pottery, like they're investing in their craft or their skills. So maybe they think that way about you, like you're, you've you been investing in your craft or your skills, something in artistic endeavor, and they might be shocked about that. Self-love, yeah, they feel like you guys are really pouring into yourselves. They are noticing that. Some of these people I'm seeing, they are thinking about like all the negative influences that have filled their life since you guys have separated or gone your separate ways. Or some of these people are feeling like you're 
accomplished or you're doing something with your life and they're kind of like in the street still. And maybe them not doing well. And for some of you, this I am hearing this can be the reverse. Maybe you're the one who is going through troubles with the law or you're having difficulties or challenges right now in your life that they're aware of. And I feel like either you or them being in this energy of not doing well. Maybe being, being this energy, being fed up or struggling in life. They could be looking back at times you guys shared where things were more simple and things were lighter when the challenges of life weren't so heavy on you both but that is all i am seeing for you guys in group three let me know if this resonates with you hopefully there were messages here for you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and it does help out my channel but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye